Hey everybody, welcome to Unpopular Wrestling Opinions Episode 3. Uh, I am your host, uh, the Kai Tai Show from the Smacked Raw Podcast. Uh, got a collection of panelists here. We are very excited to read off some unpopular opinion tweets. And the three panelists joining me today are going to determine whether it is a valid tweet uh, or if it is trash. Uh, so joining me today, uh, first up, uh, you may recognize him from the chat rooms in my live chat and the Standing Streamers live chat, plus he's got his own Twitch stuff going on. I'm of course referring to resident AEW hater D-Rod. What's going on, D-Rod? <laughs> <laughs> what is up, everybody? How are y'all doing? I'm doing good. Hey, listen, I did not know your Twitch channel, so go ahead and just let us know what your Twitch channel is. Really uh, like. Twitch.tv slash DRod2222, and that is four twos. Four twos. And you are found on Twitter at CEO DROD, right? Yes, sir. There we go. Hey, look at that, man. K Dog K Dog with the assist. K Dog's got Twitch my back. Channel. Nice, man. <laughs> um, speaking of K Dog, you guys know him from every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday hosting Putting You Over. Uh, good friend of the Smack Draw podcast. I'm, of course, referring to the standing streamer himself, K Dog. What's going on, bud? Nothing much. Uh, I'm watching Sting versus Awesome Kong from 1998. Two on WCW Saturday night. Did you know he wrestled Awesome Kong? Hell no, I had no idea. <laughs> to be yes. fair, that's like my least watched era, like the golden age leading into new generation eras. I I really didn't watch much for it. I, much yeah, I guess wrestling. I had it on before we started, and they they go Awesome Kong, and I look up and I'm like, that's weird. It was some other wrestler at the time when named say, Awesome Kong. Weird. It's incredible. Hey, I'm glad you could be joining your least favorite Smack Draw podcast member. I really appreciate that. Um, and then also from the Smack Draw podcast, uh, you know him from the Friday Night Smackdown recaps. He is uh, my close friend, uh, the AJ Styles of podcast and Sebastian. Rightly, I've been on, more on Raw than I have Smackdown. It is true, right? I don't know. I just associate you with the blue brand more often. I understand. Yeah. All right. I appreciate you guys coming on to the show. Um, once again, if you're not familiar with the show, I'm going to go ahead, read off some tweets. These three guys are going to go ahead, uh, debate whether or not if that tweet is a valid opinion or if it truly is an unpopular opinion and deserves to be called trash. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so kicking us off, you guys ready? Yeah. Yeah. All let's right. do it. Let's do this. Uh, coming in first. From at STR909, I think she has been on all of our episodes so far. She says WWE was way more successful after Brett and Sean left. Uh, who who's going first here? Uh pretty much it's just a free for all. After after Sean Sean who? I'm going to assume she is referring Probably when to he got hurt. Sean Michaels. If it's a she, oh. their their profile pictures is like K-pop, but I don't know. When he got injured, is that what she's talking about? Like a 99? I assume that's what Man, she means. I wish I could add more to this tweet. It is a very basic, open-ended tweet. WWE became right. more successful after Brett and Sean left. I think what they're meaning is Brett and Sean, I guess, during the time that they were on uh, TV were the two biggest stars, but they believe WWE programming instantly became better once they were gone. Um, I'm going to say it's true, half true, and half – it's half valid and half not valid. How is it half? Because uh, – I'm, I'm looking at the Twitch chat. How is it half? Because it did get better when Brett left. Uh, Sean, I, I don't even know how I could even validate that because did he ever really leave? <laughs> He's still there, you know? <laughs> uh, maybe when he lost his smile, it got better, <laughs> but – <laughs> uh, she's got to reword that. They need to put an edit button on Twitter because that was not worded very well. Come back next week. Yeah, <laughs> I I agree. I mean, I agree with the Brett, and, but with the Michaels, I mean, no. Shawn Michaels to me is the goat. So no, that's that it's part's trash. trash to me. <laughs> what, so I think I have one for it and one against it. Is that how I read that, K Dog? Or did you say yes or no? Yay or nay? Oh, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna say it's trash. She, it doesn't even make sense to me. What happened to the half? 
<laughs> well, he wanted an answer. You, know? <laughs> you gotta go away. D Rod, you, you gonna try and sway him, or you believe it's trash too? I think it's. I think it's a great opinion. I mean, you had Stone Cold and The Rock come in after that. You didn't need Sean or Brett. That that was gonna happen anyways, D Rod. Stone I Cold. understand that, but you don't need them. They're gone. And then you've got Stone Where'd Cold. Where did Sean go? Rock. Ooh. Someone tell me where Sean was. I'm pretty sure she <laughs> means when he had the back injury. But even then, I still would like to have seen Shawn Michaels versus The Rock in that era. I mean, like. Two years ago, him and, and Triple H fought the Brothers of Destruction. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> uh, I mean he's he's booking your favorite show, D-Rod, NXT. Let's see. It's just ridiculous. Yeah. What's her name mm. again? STR nine zero nine. Okay, I think that's a two to one vote. STR nine oh nine. Your opinion oh. is trash. <laughs> Your opinion sucks. All right. <laughs> I like the word sucks. This comes off so much better. All right. So okay, so a good little opener there. Opener. It was very. It was actually technically. It was very open ended. That was that was very uh, up for interpretation. Because um, I, I technically would say. Shawn Michaels has never actually left. Maybe it got better while he was not on the roster, and that makes sense because he's a prick and probably <laughs> did things backstage. But it, he, I don't know. Yeah. All right. So let's let's check out tweet number two coming in from Jamie uh, at Jamie Prestigio number one. Visibly not behind the scenes. WWE have handled COVID better than AEW. WWE has put uh, screens up, which isolates the quote-unquote fans from the wrestlers, while AEW doesn't. Oh, oh my lord! On screen, WWE is handling COVID better. So this guy's judging a book by its cover. That's what. That's what, <laughs> what, you, what are you talking about? Judging a book by its cover? This he is just, that's visibly. That's Why don't you open the book and look at it? It's 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 true. Not what he's saying, D-Rod. He's saying not behind the scenes, visibly. I don't care what the, they are handling it better than AEW. I agree totally. And it's not unpopular. It's I, I be, go ahead. Visibly, <laughs> maybe because I well, to be honest, I didn't get to watch AEW last. Had they mandated the mask like the WWE has in like two weeks? Whatever? I don't believe so. No. Okay. No. So yeah, visibly on the screen, they are screens up. They are now having to wear masks. So visibly, like on TV, sure. And you know, for a while, WWE had no fans while AEW left them out there to begin with. So visibly, I say yeah, it's probably that's, yeah. that's valid. Now here's what now. We have. Behind the screen? Uh, no. <laughs> Here's what we have to take into consideration here. Oh, Lord. Um, NXT and, you know, Raw and SmackDown are indoors. They're in an enclosed place where AEW, for the most part, is outdoors. So, visibly, it, WWE has to do better. Now, something I would like to say. Dear, stop shaking your head. <laughs> Something I would like to say, I personally think that WWE sabotaged AEW behind oh. the scenes was not doing well because who is married to AEW's champion? <laughs> oh my God. And what happened? What happened? Oh, she came down with COVID. What? A week before Fighter Fest? That's some good shit right there. It's almost like it was intentional. No, oh, no, wow. no, no. I'm just playing. <laughs> and now, and now, Rusev has COVID. There goes that slam of her street Yeah, Why that, he that shit, hurt. He shouldn't have took Lana back after Lashley dumped her. I know, uh, fucking right, bro. <laughs> All right. So, due to a technicality, it does sound as controversial as it is at <laughs> Jamie mean, Prestigio One has. I hate to say it, a valid tweet. Oh, it's great. Oh, yes. yeah. Get, get that shit out of here, man. <laughs> I'm so angry at that tweet. I'm so legitimately mad. <laughs> oh, my God. Awesome start to the show, you guys. All right. Tweet number three of the evening. Uh, this just says, best heel in wrestling, and it's got a 
video of Jay White. So Jay White, best heel in wrestling, unpopular opinion. Fuck. Also coming to us from at Slate underscore S42, if we want Trash. to know who to blame for this. Trash. It's not even cl- like, he's not even the most popular guy on Bullet Club anymore. He's not even best in his faction at this point. And now this guy's like best deal in wrestling. Are you kidding me? That's like saying Kyle, o- Kyle O'Reilly's the best. At- no, no. Shut up. No. We're getting some who is Jay White in the chat. <laughs> well, he. That's a great question, though. Is Jay White still the leader of the Bullet Club? I say no. No, he hasn't been, I don't think. Ever since Kenta came in. Yes. Kenta got the first shot at Nato. I, and, I, then it, and then Evil comes in and joins them and then wins the titles. I saw that. <laughs> like, no, that's trash. That part, that, that tweet is trash. I don't even need to comment on it. It doesn't even make sense. Uh, Baron Corbin's a better heel. Jeez. Oh. D Rod, you care to add anything? I don't know what. K Dog, you and your Baron Corbin crap. Baron Corbin is the best heel in the business right, right now. now. Right now? Right, right now. Are Randy you saying Orton. right now? Right now. All right. You're well, crazy. I think we still. Randy Orton. Unpopular it's opinion. Randy Orton. Thank it's, it's, you. We got unpopular opinions by our own panelists. All right. <laughs> but, so, but he is right, and Byron Corbin's a better heel than Jay Watt right now. Oh, sweet deal. So, you, at yeah, Slate yeah. underscore S42, your opinion is trash. <laughs> Be trash. If you put Randy Orton and Baron Corbin in a match against each other, who are you rooting for, D-Rod? Randy Orton. Then he's not a fucking heel. But wait a minute here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's back it up We got K-Dog comment is trash, too. (laughs) Corbin, best jobber. Oh, yes. (laughs) I'm loving this. Then he's he's winning. When you you, uh, hate him and call him a jobber, he's winning. He's got you. He did just lose to Matt Riddle, didn't he? Yeah, heels aren't supposed to win. When did a heel ever win? Mm. Well, Randy, to- Randy Orton's gone until when he beats Drew. Crown yeah, says Jericho is by far the best heel. I don't know, man. Oh. I like Jericho too much to consider him a heel. He's too likable, even as a bad guy. It's hard to boo him. By the Attitude Era ruined wrestling. Oh, man. Hey, we got some actually Attitude Era stuff coming up just as a little spoiler here. All right. Uh, tweet number four. By the way, these are in no particular order. Uh, at Sheila Killer 234 the Attitude Era is overrated. I agree with this one. I literally was just thinking about this two days ago, how I think the Attitude Era – not only is it overrated, but it ruined wrestling. We all want the Attitude Era back. Everybody wants to wants their bad guys to be cool. They want to punch their boss in the face and, and drink beer and shove things up people's asses. And <laughs> I, I think it's very valid. Uh, wow. Yeah. Live long enough to see yourself become the villain, then. Well, here's the thing. Everybody talks about, you know, this much sets and all that. Attitude Era, it was all about the segments. You didn't have no... It was not well, about the wrestling. Say any. Yeah. But, you had, but as far as today versus then, today's wrestling is ten times better as far as match quality. Yeah. Well, well it's like for every, for every Austin stunner, you had... Uh, May Young giving birth to a hand, which yeah. is great. But <laughs> and, and, and plus, people tweet that crap right there, or people like try to defend the attitude era, and then when they try to do something edgy today, it's shit on immediately. Yep, mm-hmm. it is true. Uh, so get the attitude era shit out of here. D Rod, you got anything you want to add? Uh, it, it's no contest. Ruthless aggression is a better era. So let's move on. I, I quietly agree with you guys. Wow, man. Wow. The public opinion on the Attitude Era is turning. Chila Killer 234, your opinion is trash. And so wasn't his, his that three belts? I mean, come on. Uh-oh. Jesus. Uh-oh, I did something wrong. Chila Killer three belts. I'm oh, so cool. oh. Yeah, at the end, this guy's walking around with three belts. Yeah. Uh, one oh. second, fellas. I definitely <laughs> just fucked up here. I fucked up real bad. <laughs> it's not like this is live or anything, but I may have just destroyed our backdrop. That's all right. Oh, great. 
Yeah, just give me a second. I'll get well, it back. You're, since you're going to fix the backdrop, you got to change your camera just a bit because you can still see the yellow pop up when you talk. Everyone else is, is hidden by the back, the yeah. backdrop, backdrop. Yours, you can see a little bit. You can do that post, though. I can do it in post, yeah. <laughs> next, next stream. Next Here's stream. an unpopular opinion. Uh, Rey Mysterio is overrated. Rey Mysterio? Right? Well, that unpopular? Yeah, people like him. I don't know, face. man. Yeah, I mean, That's kind of rough. Hey, has Rey Mysterio ever been a heel? I was thinking about that this morning. In WCW, uh, he was part of, like, uh, the Wolfpack. Uh, yeah. With his mask off, right? Yeah, I mean, you can't have... Mask on, he's a face. Mask off, he's a heel. Yeah. Well, he's about to have one less eyeball, so it don't matter. As yeah. long as Seth Rollins takes that eyeball, puts it in a little glass vial, and wears it around his neck, I'm all for that. And you know what I think really is really going to happen? I think Dominic is going to give up his eye, and that's going to be the sacrifice Dominic makes, and then Dominic's going to go to the Monday Night Messiah crew, which they need a new name because you can't be named, let's say, call it the Monday Night the Monday Night Colt. <laughs> Monday Night Colt joins us. <laughs> oh, my God. Because we I, all know. This, I think I fixed it. I think I fixed the. Yeah, the, it does look better. The stream. Okay, cool. All right. What was that? Uh, attitude error over it. Okay, so this one, carefully, I'm going to yeet it one more time. <laughs> there it goes. It's gone. Yeah, obviously, it sucks only one. There we go. Okay. I'm, like, super nervous now. I have no idea how I did that. Um. Opinion number five of the evening coming in from Scotty uh, Kobashi, Ko, uh, Kobayashi, Jesus, Kobe. Scott, Scott Kobayashi. Uh, the TNT title ain't that bad. Y'all need to stop comparing it to the trash that is the 24-7 title. People compare those two? <laughs> Good Lord. Uh. Well, uh, the 24-7 title was supposed to be a joke, so that's a bad person. <laughs> But, I mean, I think that belt is terrible looking, personally, so. Yeah, what, what's the tweet actually say again? Throw it back up there. Uh, the TNT title ain't that bad. It's not nice. that bad. And then he just goes on to say, stop comparing it to the trash title. That's the 24-7 title. Well, I'm going to go by uh, some verbiage that I hear a lot. I don't know who coined it, who said it first. But titles don't make champions champions make titles so i don't give a shit what the title looks like as long as your champion is out there defending it making it relevant week in week out pay-per-view in pay-per-view out and all that fun stuff i never really compared the 24 7 and the tnt so those two weren't the same to me uh i guess as far as that tweet goes hold it, it. hold on a second k Dog. wait a minute hold it Wait, and wait. I was in the arena the night they debuted the 24-7 title. I could have taken it, D-Rock. But wait a minute. underscore Lake Show 24-7 says, I love the shirt, Dick Kick City. Dick Kick City, that's right. Or just for tonight, just for D-Rod. I wanted to. <laughs> yeah, okay. D-Rod, Dick Kick City. <laughs> I didn't have any white duct tape. So it sounds like, it sounds like uh, K-Dog over here um, is validating the tweet. I do. I think it's. I think it's a fine tweet. I. I. I don't care what the title looks like, per se, uh, because the the pe- the people make the title. The title doesn't make the person. That's how I look at it. Unless it's a spinner title, then <laughs> then all bets are off. <laughs> all right, from you guys. No, I bet it's garbage. <laughs> Erod, you Erod, you're a swing vote. It is garbage. Yeah, yeah. who saw that one coming? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> All right, Scott Kobayashi, your tweet is trash. Plus, he's tweeting from his iPad. Who the hell does that? I did say Twitter from my iPad, didn't it? But actually, I, I sometimes, like when I'm at work, I'm tweeting from my iPad. Um, I'm terrible. I should never be allowed to talk about other people. <laughs> I hope none of these people follow me. All right, tweet number six coming in hot uh, from uh, those wrestling girls. Uh, Ooh, right, we see them online a lot. It says, uh, y'all know my favorite unpopular opinion. Alexa and Sasha would be a fire heel tag team. Hashtag SmackDown. Oh, that's valid. Mm. Valid as hell. Yeah. If I had the pencil. Oh, Lord have mercy. <laughs> I would definitely put those two together. There we go. 
<laughs> that is a extremely great point. And I'm not just saying that because they're going to be on my show July 30th. <laughs> <laughs> no, I yeah. never thought, I never actually thought of that. And it, it is good. Uh, elect, and Sasha's always been great. d can, can vouch preach it, for that. preach it. <laughs> and, but Alexa bliss truly has worked so hard to become but she's got now she's got that like attitude era heel stuff what the hell is going on anyway she got that uh attitude era heel stuff where she's so bad that people are cheering her my let's see i said alexa and it's talking to me now oh i, I gotta be careful man <laughs> People often forget that Alexa Bliss was criticized for her wrestling ability, and I don't think anyone even thinks that about her now. Not anymore, no. And yeah. her God, her. All like, right, those wrestling girls. This show was supposed to be unpopular wrestling opinions, and that was easily one of the most validated ones we've had. Yeah, oh, but it did. Yeah. I mean, they're tweeting from their iPhone. They're getting the retweets. I, I mean, I guess they're not playing by the rules, but yeah. maybe they like the attitude era. Who knows? Son oh, of a bitch, know? man. Jeez. Son of a bitch. We are off the air. Hold on. Okay, now we're back. <laughs> there we are. <laughs> Lord have mercy, man. <laughs> I'll just wait a second. Hold on. Just no one say anything. He can edit all that out for YouTube. So you, you'll never even see it. It'd be like a smooth show. Well, no, I see. I think part this... of the charm is all of the botches that I just consistently it have. It wouldn't be a smart trial podcast if it went all smooth. So, yeah. All right, that's good. That's good. I have, you know, this is weird because this is the third episode, and I'm by far having way more trouble with it than beforehand. What say women's yeah. tag titles are useless. The division <laughs> itself doesn't have enough women for factions. Jeez. Oh my lord, Almighty! Not I didn't only, know you. I didn't know you had to be a faction to have a tag title. Not shot, only like. are the tag titles. Not useless because they can be defended on all three programs, which is what they should do with some other titles. Um, but I think there's enough women to have their own network only show. And I've been preaching that forever. Third gunman. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> also third gunman. <laughs> third gunman. <laughs> Sasha and Bailey are the tag champions. So please, if you're going to disrespect Sasha, get out of here. All right, let's yeet them the fuck out. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> third <laughs> All right, let's go for the seventh tweet, and hopefully, I don't delete something else from the damn show. Uh, it's you should do it every every like three tweets. You should delete. Coming in from White uh, Boy three one three. Oh my lord! Oh goodness gracious! <laughs> Bowie. I think that's White Bowie. <laughs> Bowie. NXT is going downhill. Way too focused on counter programming. AEW. <laughs> oh, my Lord, have mercy. Wait. D-Rock, go ahead. Start us off, man. I don't even want to say anything about this, really, because I'm going to make somebody mad. <clears throat> That's the purpose of the show. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking? Come and get out of here. Tweet is no. Uh-uh. He just calls it trash right out the gate. <laughs> yeah, First off, I mean, it's 100% trash. <laughs> NXT is not going downhill. I don't know where this person had tweeted this, if this was from 10 years ago or what. But um, this is invalid as anybody. I mean, if you watch the product, you can you can tell this is it's, it's invalid. All right. <laughs> All right. I will now pick apart this tweet. And bury okay, it. you go ahead and pick apart this tweet. Yeah, go ahead. First of all, it, whether NXT is going downhill in your opinion or not is irrelevant. It's irrelevant. His focus is. They're, they're focused too much on counter-programming, which makes no sense to me because they're competing against each other. If you watch baseball and the other team calls a pinch hitter and brings in a righty, the other team's now going to bring in their righty to pitch to them. Well, or they bring in a lefty, they'll bring in their <laughs> lefty specialist. Not to mention, and listen, everyone knows I love AEW. NXT were sort of on Wednesday nights first, anyways. <laughs> like, yes, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to point I, that out there. <laughs> was it though? I thought it was Tuesday. Yeah. No, it's uh, like always been Wednesdays. It was on. It, it was just on Wednesdays. the network. Once <clears throat> AEW got a TV deal, they pulled it from the network and put it on USA. But they never changed the time slot, other than adding an additional hour. 
counter programming. Counter programming. I, see, I don't like that word because it counter programming white buoy. is what white buoy <laughs> is is like that's their main focus is counter programming and what do you want them to do? Whose uh, is the, the tweet? The tweet is yeah. The focus is they should the... they should be counter programming. Who? Whether they're ahead or not. <laughs> both of them, who's, who's... Both of them should be. Like, it's a competition. Either way, I think he said NXT is going downhill was the focus. And you guys all agree that's it's... trash? Yes. Correct. Or, Do that they've, won, they've won the last three weeks. <laughs> realize, but no, I'm going downhill. No, shut the fuck up. Okay. Now, if I'm comparing NXT now to NXT when it – Sami Zayn, Kevin Owens, NXT – Finn Balor, Samoa Joe, NXT, Nakamura, Asuka, NXT. If I'm comparing that NXT to now, then maybe it's a little valid. I liked it better then. I don't like it as much now. But- I think I think their argument for why they believe it's going downhill was wrong. I think if they structured that better, it focused on something else. They may have had something there. Well, his name was White uh, White Bowie. Bowie. Do you think he thinks much about anything? <laughs> hey man, look. I'm not trying to attack the people, you know, directly <laughs> on the show. You've got the wrong people on here for oh, that. Oh yeah, man, I love it. <laughs> All right, we're halfway through the tweets. All Wait. right, coming in next uh, from Kik Wrestling. Christian was better than Edge. Oh. <laughs> it's just a very. Uh. Bold blanket statement. Uh, <laughs> unpopular opinion. Is it very true? Uh, you guys, this uh, is a debate show. I just I want mean, to encourage you guys to say something. I mean, I, I don't want to go first every time. That's why I didn't say anything. Yeah. I mean, it's trash, but I do agree Christian is very, very underrated. Uh, but no, up, up, up toward the edge of status, no, I don't think he's up toward the edge. But he doesn't get the credit he deserves, definitely. I'm trying to think in any way that you could say Christian was better. I think Christian had a better finisher, like the unprettier. I think that's more devastating than like Edge's spear and execution and stuff. But heel wise, no. Edge stole Lita from Matt, and face wise, and real life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I can't even try to think of something to sway you guys. <laughs> Uh, quietly. Go ahead, d What do you think? Yeah, go ahead. I mean, I just agree with y'all. I mean, it, it, that shouldn't even be a tweet. I mean, I, I understand Christian is underrated, yes. But, I mean, the star level there is just on different levels. Mm-hmm. Well, I, I do see where you guys are coming from. Oh, Lord. But let me argue. Let me play devil's advocate and argue mm-hmm. for Christian a little bit. Go ahead. I've heard multitude of interviews by lots of wrestlers, one of them being Randy Orton, dear Rod, I guess your new favorite wrestler, <laughs> who says that they will not like they will let like Christian call in a match. Like he's one of the only wrestlers they'll let call a match. Just go you there's no script. I'm wrestling Christian, he's going to walk me through the match, the whole thing. So he he has that going. Christian went over to TNA at the time. He had a pretty great run over there. Champion, Christian Coalition, did a lot of things over there. So did he have a better, was he better than Edge WWE? Maybe not. Was he, he was better, better than Edge in TNA? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, uh, this is your your spot. I'll, I'll wait to go after this. My stuff. bad, my bad. That's okay. Was he better than Edge and TNA? No. <laughs> but but when you're like that, he said Edge was better than or Christian was better than Edge. Well, oh my lord. I mean, I, that's a little open ended. So <laughs> overall, I don't, I don't think it's open ended at all. <laughs> okay, then I then I'll put my foot down. I think Christian overall in wrestling was better than Edge. 
Oh, oh God. Okay. Oh, my... It's still a oh, two to God. one. Really oh. quick, though. Really quick. We'll show some Christian some love. Does he deserve to go in the Hall of Fame? Yes. The fact that he isn't in the Hall of Fame yet is a joke. I mean, like I said, he's vastly underrated. Nowhere near the credit he deserves, but I just don't think he's up toward Edge tier. Today. No. And no. I think the greatest thing about Edge is Edge would be the person that says, let's not put me in the Hall of Fame because it makes good <laughs> talk and fodder. And that would be Edge. Or not Edge, Christian. They're so they're so one and the same. <laughs> Christian is better than Edge. Get yeah. over it. All Just, right, sorry. Put it over. Keeping it kayfabe at KIK Wrestling. Your opinion is trash. <laughs> I'm going to follow them. What is it? Keeping it kayfabe? <laughs> yeah, go follow them on the putting you over Twitter. I am going to follow them. I'm going to follow them on... Maybe you can put it over. Maybe. Tell them their, their tweet was awesome. What was that? All right. Uh, moving on to the very next one. At God of Wrestling. Wrestling fans in social media play a role in the decline of professional wrestling over the years. Oh, someone's got else is going to have to start because I missed that. Mm. Wait, say it one more time. Okay. Wrestling fans and social media play a role in the decline of professional wrestling over the years. Yes. My wrestling used to, you know, draw millions of people every week consistently, and now hardly anyone's watching it on TV. I know there's arguments to be there, but I mean they're saying wrestling's on the decline. Us fans and social media are to blame or play a large role in it. Valid. I, bet I mean you, you can't even post that you like a certain anybody without a hundred people on social media, you know, you're like, I don't know. And, and like just technology, so you don't have to watch live now. So whatever you're talking about, just from the enjoyment part of it or like numbers wise, I think every way you go, it's valid. Um, yeah. I bet you, if you look at this guy's Twitter, he's an older gentleman um, because He's looking at social media and everything as a decline, as as ruining wrestling for him, uh, and it it's it's not ruining wrestling. I am older. I thoroughly enjoy wrestling, uh, but it's different now with social media. It, it, wrestling is different, basically. Uh, but if you throw a tweet up again, can you throw a tweet up so I can read it again? Yeah, sure. So I got to make it valid or not valid. Final answer. Wrestling fans and social media play a role in the play a role in the decline of professional wrestling over the years. That is definitely his opinion. Um, do I think it plays a role in the decline? I I guess it does. Yes, it does. It's valid. So we got we got what was that? Was that two or three for valid? That's two for valid. I don't hear D Rod. Zero. What's yours? <sighs> I don't know where to go on this one because, like you said, Sebastian, if I go on Twitter and post, well, AEW is the worst wrestling show ever, I am going to get backlash because it may be true, but yet still people's got their own mindset of what they think. So that's okay. a problem. Okay, I got a, I got a better analogy for you. No, uh, I don't want to hear your analogy. You're going to like this one. Let's you're move on. Like, D-Rod, you're going to like this. Um. <laughs> When I was a young buck like yourself, d I loved Mr. Cornette running around with his racket, uh, talking trash, and doing awesome. That was wrestling for me. That was great. But now, because of social media, Jim Cornette comes off as a massive dick. Did kick city. Yes. (laughs) So (laughs) he he, he has ruined things. For me personally, as a wrestling fan, of him, and it's hard to do that. And without social media, that's you know, I'm, I might just give up social media. <laughs> <laughs> Either way, it looks like they have a valid tweet. Oh, yeah, I mean, yeah. it's valid, but it's also an easy tweet to put out. Is that that's not an unpopular opinion? Come on, Simpsons. Oh no, what's his name? God of Wrestling. Okay. I've already deleted the tweet, so I don't know. Oh, yeah. All right. I clipped it. The tenth tweet of the evening coming in uh, at Katana Squirrel. That's actually an awesome handle. 
um, Arn was the best horseman. That is unpopular, for sure. <laughs> oh, oh, Lord. That's probably one of the most unpopular tweets I've ever seen. This one wow. might go a while. Because who are we considering? The four in... horsemen? I was wondering in that. Who who are we counting? So let's let's go through that first. Who are we considering? Well, I, Rick, I, I mean, Rick Flair's got to be in there. Flair. I mean. oh, Come on, T-Rock. Jeez. <laughs> Flair, Arn, Oli, Tully. Uh, if, you, if you go to if you go to Twitter, those are the four that pop up first. I'm not Twitter. Excuse me, Google. JJ Dillon, Benoit, Barry Windham. Are we gonna count? We're not counting Lex Luger, right? I, I, I mean, <laughs> just the fact Rick's in there. No matter how you go about it, might exactly. Crash. Yeah, Rick is a two <laughs> soon to be three time Hall of Famer. Hell, I mean, if you throw Benoit in there, Benoit's better. I mean, but no, just Rick been in there alone. Trash. Trash. Mm-hmm. Very trash. quickly trash. He said, he said the best? Was the best what? horseman. Huh. Uh, he's, yeah. probably, he's probably just I, trying to get I, on Mars podcast. K Dog trying to reach. I am. Trying I am. To, <laughs> to just give him a push. Trying oh, yeah. to see their side of the story. Because. Thomas Fenton from Wrestling News World was on here, and Thomas was the complete opposite. He'd be the first one to shut you down. He wouldn't even let the other panelists talk. He'd be <laughs> like, I'm voting for you guys. <laughs> yeah, so I appreciate it, k Dog, but it's a two-to-one even if you do try to do it. Uh, the <laughs> is trash. They can feel free to sway me, but I just... <laughs> Uh, I, I don't, you're, I don't you're not gonna I, sway me, so I'm go ahead. They got <clears throat> they got Ric Flair. Yeah, I mean, that would be saying Randy Orton was the best Evolution member. Yeah, you have Ric Flair. <laughs> it's like at the end of the day, how many thirty for thirties does Arn Anderson have? Okay, I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah. I I'd will like say though, Edge was bad. Katana Squirrel is a really badass Twitter handle alone, so I'm gonna give him some points for that. I love how everybody's a male tweeter to you. Yeah, you know. <laughs> you point that out. We're on the final five tweets of the night. Coming in at uh, number 11. At Sad Hey Butters, uh, Triple H <laughs> should have ended the streak at WrestleMania 28. Preach, preach, no, preach, no, preach. No. Yes, no. yes. Yes. Now was that twenty was twenty eight the singles match or the uh, the end of the era match? Wait a minute. This changes my opinion. It is the hell in a cell. <laughs> Depending on which one. Yeah, I think it's it the hell in a cell. If it's the cell, yes. If, yeah. No, this 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 one's trash. We all know this one's trash. No, oh, it, it ain't trash. It is, it is because Triple H should not have ended the streak. Yeah. yeah, it is the hell in the cell. Um, can you, ta- can you tell me why Brock should have won? Well, first well, of all, he should have but... the streak. Well, <laughs> <laughs> well if you y'all could tell trash. me, uh, you know. Yeah, the- trash. I mean, it's, yeah. And we all know who should have ended the streak. You know, don't you don't you say CM Punk? Or yeah, you, see, no, no, I didn't no, even no, have no, to no, say no. it, dear. I no, 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 no. knew exactly who I was talking about. <laughs> have ended the streak. No. The main eventing. Uh, so I I just want to chime in here. I try not to, although I guess if you go back, I probably chime in on almost all of them. I agree with D Rod. Uh, the 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 end of the Arab match was my favorite. Loved although it. actually, I don't know because. I felt like that should have ended his career. Should it have ended the streak? Mm, that's actually a different bird. I don't know. I don't know. Either way, though, sad hey, Butters. Uh, your opinion's trash. Yeah, no one likes No, you. really. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Coming in, number 12. Um, from World of Zen 1. Uh NXT and AEW should not air at the same time. Hmm. Mm-hmm. They mm. shouldn't air at the same time. <laughs> that sounds like a real personal uh, opinion out of him. He must. He must not be able to multitask. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think they should. That is, yeah. that is a 
trashy opinion. I think it's good. I think it's great for wrestling. I think it makes like shows like this awesome. It makes D Rod's stupid opinion about NXT. Oh, well, no, that's. <laughs> I think it's all great. Oh man, I think it's. I think it's awesome. So I got one for it, one against it. Where you at, Seb? Uh, trash. I mean, if somebody tried real hard, they might be able to sway me on that one because I would like to just watch off like everything and not have to worry about you know watching anything else, not having to be spoiled on certain things. But no, I, I agree. As much as and that's where social media ruins wrestling for him because yes. if there's no social media, mm-hmm. he could just skip one of them. Yeah, and, and watch it the next well, day. Well, there's only one that you skip, anyways. So, <laughs> but it's the NXT because it's on the next. Like, oh no, it's AEW. You, you skip it. But like K Dog said, I mean, this makes both shows want to be better and put their best foot forward instead of coasting. So, at the same time, I feel like it'd bring the quality down if it was not at airing at the same time. So yeah, overall, I'd say trash. Dang, I actually was anticipating this one to be valid. Shows how much I know. No, see, I, I love them on the same night. I, I think it makes it fun. It's really fun. I just saw that as, like, one of the first tweets I saw where AEW and, A- and, w- and NXT were in the same tweet, but nothing combative about the tweet. You know, and it wasn't one of the generic, can't we just enjoy oh. all of them? It was something different, so that's what oh, caught me good about. tweet. Good job out of them. Yep. Oh, it was trash. <laughs> it's trash. All <laughs> right. Tweet number 13 coming in from Zin Famous HD. Baron oh. Corbin is oh, really good and doesn't des- <laughs> doesn't get the credit he deserves. Most of the time, he just works in the wrong program with the wrong people. Valid yeah. as valid can fucking be. <laughs> Dear Rod, would you like to comment on this? No, I don't want to comment. I'm going to comment. This- Go ahead. This tweet is absolute trash. What? Because really? Aaron Corbin is a heel. And if this guy is tweeting he's good, then Baron Corbin is not doing his job. This tweet <laughs> Are you cool, Gabe? All this tweet I oh, ever, Baron Corbin is good? No, Baron Corbin is not good. He's trash. Baron Corbin is trash. <laughs> You and your well, I would like to get in your mind for one day. You have to keep it kayfabe. He is a heel. Man, you want to talk about do. kayfabe, but yet you sit here and support AEW. You got to be kidding me. <laughs> Nothing he can do. Yeah, I like dinosaurs and aliens. What do you want me to do? And oranges. And because, or- you know. yeah. well, oranges are good. It has vitamin C. I what is the an orange right about now? Yeah. Nothing. Uh, I, I've praised Baron Corbin. Uh, Nonstop, really, since the King of the Ring tournament. Those four matches he had back to back to back to back. I uh, that. Correct. I mean, All right, D Rod, you get the swing vote. Uh, you you want to say it's trash, right? I, yeah, I do want to say it's trash. And, and Baron Corbin is doing his job as the best heel. No, don't you. <laughs> he, was just, he was just like singing his praises 15 minutes ago. <laughs> he was, oh, he's a heel, right? And is he or is he not a heel? Do you even know what he a heel is? Heel. is? Do you yes, even know I what do. that is? Yes, I do. Okay, good. Oh, a heel means you should never say he's good at anything. Uh, mm. we just, I, that that by definition is, but you just don't have that today. I don't feel like. Oh, man. <laughs> so, so by some weird twisting <laughs> of logic. <laughs> I <laughs> just put down Randy Orton. Zin famous. Randy Orton H- is a HD. Your tweet is somehow trash. <laughs> yeah. 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 You can't root for a heel. Zin famous HD. Oh my god, this is great. All right, just two left. Uh, coming in. We F- have more. I could do this all night. I'm telling you, man. Um, coming in at number fourteen. Uh, from Drip Bayles, Triple H is better than HBK. Oh, shut know. the fuck up. <laughs> I mean, that, that's a great tweet. I agree. I mean, the you fuck? Know, you know, better world champion, you know. Well, you ever see them gist of the dumpster fire? You know, that's that. That's 
Shut the fuck up. I know I was going to get hate on this one. <laughs> well, you know, I'm going to stand be- behind you or beside you <laughs> on this one because I totally agree with this. Oh, my God. God. Um, obviously, Sean left yeah. a while ago, you know, and the <laughs> WWE got better and Triple H obviously stayed. So. <laughs> I love how he swings it back to the first fucking tweet. Gotta, I think. gotta keep it, gotta, it, Dude, gotta keep the continuity. Hell has that froze tweet, over. That tweet right there is going to cause me not to sleep tonight. I'm very pissed off. Boy, I, I don't understand. I mean, he's, you know, he, he's still around today, still kicking, still wrestling. He's had the better world title run. I don't see your problem. Oh, hell has frozen. Tom Michaels is good enough where he didn't need the damn world title. <laughs> Triple H was having negative five star matches he against the world title. I don't even go this far. He screwed Brett. LA <laughs> underscore Lake Show 24 7 says, Of course, Triple H stayed. He was banging Vince's daughter. <laughs> well, he was smart in that, you know. I'm. Oh, the, uh, Drip Bayless. Hell has froze over because your tweet is valid. Oh, it's valid. Yeah. <laughs> I don't feel good about that one. I oh really, yeah, you do, Kyd. Just agree with me and let's move on. Really don't I mean, feel Triple good H about that. Here, both in NXT, so. So, um, quick question. Uh, this this uh this is a little off topic, but you guys were just comparing greatness and championship reigns and stuff, right? We often consider Shawn Michaels, uh, not Shawn Michaels, excuse me, Ric Flair. One of, if the the greatest of all time, of course, he's got the 16 championship reigns to his name. But then in the same breath, we can go ahead and say Undertaker is one of the best ever, who only had, what, two or three championship runs? Um, so do championship runs not necessarily result in greatness? No, I don't. Mm-hmm. But if you do look at the guys right now in WWE with the top title uh, title reigns, you, of course, got Ric Flair and John Cena tied. And then closely behind, you've got the likes of... Um, our truth our truth uh, <laughs> Triple H and Randy Orton. And I believe Edge isn't far behind either. With Those are like five of the most title reigns ever. I think Charlotte's getting close. Charlotte is catching up real fucking fast. And wait till she breaks her father's record by winning the male title. That's how you should do it. 16th title it, reign. It's a men's title. <laughs> that is. Clip it. Clip it, Kate. Oh, my God. All right. Final tweet of the night, you guys. And then I'm going to go pass the fuck out because I'm still suffering from the drinking game I played with John Alba. Oh, my God. I did the same thing. I'm telling you. He popped up in the chat, man. An yeah. Emmy Award winning panelist was... And the Smack Draw podcast chat. That's pretty, that's pretty, uh, I'm going to gloat about that until I shouldn't anymore. Um, final tweet of the day goes to, at, uh, from at Dark Profits. Uh, WWE is nothing more than a paycheck and not an expression of pro wrestling as an art. Oh, that guy's a fucking idiot. <laughs> Thank you, Sebastian. <laughs> Thank you. <clears throat> I had to end with this one. Don't we have another tweet? <laughs> <laughs> What's his name again? Oh, God. We're going to call him out on air. At Dark Profits. I'm going to go tweet him right now. At Dark Profits is a fucking idiot. <laughs> oh, my God. Stop. Wait, should I, should, I, should I try to... Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, my God. <laughs> no. Don't try it, K-Dog, please. This is going out the <laughs> window. <laughs> yeah. Well, it was a nice run, you guys. Oh, man. Um. Yeah, it's not a very good tweet. It's, it's a quick <laughs> tweet. It wants me to be upset, and I won't be upset at it. I'm because, not upset. I mean, he just done. Well, art, well, art is subjective. First of all, I have I have more of an issue with the the fact that he's saying it's not art because art is subjective. I might think the WWE is art because it's just a paycheck. Look at look at the, the the Bushwhackers. The Bushwhackers before they came to WWE did some hardcore shit and were great wrestlers. And you know what? They went to the WWE well, the WWF at that time. They went there just for the paycheck. Just for the paycheck. Why? Because it kept their bodies safer, it kept them working longer and making more money. So you can tell me all this other crap, but 
you know, it might be for money. And and that might be the art of the WWE. The art of the WWE is making you con- <laughs> enjoy money more than an art form. Mm-hmm. There you go. There you your, go. Your tweet is still trash. This tweet is still trash, <laughs> even though you just validated it. Even though I it. defended it, it's still trash. I'm defending the word art. Art is subjective. You can't oh, tell anybody what art yeah. is. You're defending art, all right. <laughs> look, as look as an all elite wrestling. wrestling. Yeah, we're art. defending art. Oh my god! <laughs> you want to get a conversation about art, D. Rod? Is that what you want to do? Yeah, let's have a conversation about art. Well, anyways, at Dark Profits, <laughs> your tweet is trash. So. <laughs> <It's> trash. <laughs> it's trash. Oh my god. Oh man, that was fun. Thank you, everybody for your tweets that I shamelessly stole off of twitter and didn't tell you uh i i'm gonna go ahead and shout everybody out as we post them up to uh youtube uh <laughs> he's going back yes yeah <laughs> they'll tune in and they'll find out if, if <laughs> we like them or if some of my panelists just attacked him as a person um <laughs> so bored i'm gonna go back watch this vod write all those names down <laughs> personally and tell them whether or whether be using Twitter. K Dog is gonna be lurking in the DMs. <laughs> Your tweet gave me an ulcer. All right. Look, man, Christian is better than Ed. You're right. <laughs> yeah, okay. So my goal is to uh for this show to spill into that uh Twitch chat room and cause some fights in there too. So we can watch people just just gun it out everywhere. But um that's tonight's show, you guys. Uh, thank you, everybody, for joining us. Um, I hope you all enjoyed Extreme Rules, by the way, too. That was that was a crazy show, wasn't it? Um, I can't believe that crazy thing happened at Extreme Rules, the horror show. Uh, oh, yes. Can you believe that? Can you believe that thing that happened? We totally yeah. were recording this yeah, like, super in Amazing. Hey, lost three eyeballs. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> of what happened? With Rey Mysterio and Seth Rollins. It's changed the game. And I'll tell you what. Cinematic wrestling is where it should be. And Netflix, I'm telling you right now, start booking these people. <laughs> <laughs> Until next time, you guys. Y'all have a good one. <laughs> Bye.